Maximal camera weight for this stabilizer could be 4 kilograms. 3 kilograms if additional payload could be mounted on the other side. It can be a battery, display, video transmitter, lights, and other stuff. Start with charging the battery. Remove camera plate from the gimbal. Find a center of mass of your camera. Fix a camera plate on a camera. Use additional spacers if small camera is used. Attach camera to the gimbal. Push camera closer to center. Attach the battery. Add counterweights until this side becomes heavier. Adjust position of the camera to find balance. Check the balance indicator for roll axis. Turn the camera down. Adjust position of the battery plate to find balance. Check the balance indicator for tilt axis. Turn the camera forward. Adjust position of the counterweights to find balance. Check the balance indicator for tilt axis. Once again, check the balance in all three dimensions. Press the key shortly and one more time for three seconds. Do not touch the gimbal until second indicator shows blue color. Do not hold the gimbal on a ground if servo drives are working. Put the handle down to set a sleep mode. If you find that any servo drive is oscillating or making noise, please attach the programmer to the first slot. Slowly increase a total gain until servo starts to oscillate, then set a smaller value to stop oscillations. One by one, find the best gain value for each axle. RC sensitivity value is a speed limit for each axle. Check reverse boxes if gimbal is used upside down. To change operation mode, press the key shortly and mode will be switched in half a second. There are two modes, smooth and normal. To block the direction, you must press the key for more than half a second. Roll axis will be blocked after half a second of press key. Roll and tilt will be blocked after one second of press key. Roll, tilt, and pan will be blocked in one and a half seconds of pressed key. To unlock all axis, press the key one more time for more than half a second. Red color of the indicator means low battery voltage. To turn the gimbal off, press the key shortly and one more time for three seconds. Remove the battery before transportation. You can choose U-handle or T-handle for shaky conditions. Mount for a drone is also included. To use pointer light as a remote head, you must attach a receiver with a S-Bus port. Here is a channel mapping. We are using 15mm rods for a payload mounting. You can use standard adapters to customize a payload. Thank you.